Olivia Welter is a pharmacy student right here at Drake University and a supporter of Elizabeth Warren. Olivia. Yes, good evening. Hey, Welcome to Drake. Thank you for having me. My question for you is that recently several states have introduced and passed bills that legally prohibit those with uteruses from exercising their reproductive rights. What specific actions will you take to allow us to gain back our right to our own bodies? Thank you. For so long, women have been leading this fight, shouldering the burden of making sure that their reproductive rights are protected. It's time that all of us join them in this fight. As president, I will make sure that every nominee... <laughs> ...to every federal bench, including the Supreme Court, understands and believes that the 1973 decision, Roe versus Wade, is the settled law of the land. As, as president, I'll make sure that we do away with the gag rule, which prevents providers from referring women to get the best reproductive health care that they can. We'll do away with the Hyde Amendment. So that ensures that regardless of your income or your zip code, you're able to access a safe, legal abortion. And also the other services that are provided in family planning clinics, a cervical cancer screening, family planning help. In a state like mine in Texas, where we have not expanded Medicaid, or one like yours, where you privatize Medicaid to disastrous results, being able to get the health care that will keep women alive in the midst of a maternal mortality crisis that is three times as deadly for women of color. And then I will work with our partners in Congress to make sure that by statute, we prevent states from taking away the right that every woman should enjoy, making her own decisions about her own body and having access to the health care that makes that possible. Thank you for asking.